Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 26.1, the first big update to iOS 26. It is an awesome update, it brings a ton of new features and changes, but it also improves the performance a lot and also a bit of a better battery life. So in today's video, we're going to talk about this update and I will let you know everything that I suggest you know before you update your iPhone to the new iOS 26. 6.1 whether you're planning to update it to the beta or of course to the public release which is very very soon so starting off with the release i think this is the first thing that you need to know for ios 26.1 the release actually should be really soon so as you probably know we're currently on the third beta and most of the point one updates actually don't have a ton of betas so we are expecting another beta or no beta at all and Apple moves straight to the RC version. In that case, if they don't release another beta, then the next week, the 20th of October, will be the day that Apple releases the RC version. If that doesn't happen, if they actually push another beta, which in this case will be beta 4, then we will get that beta 4 on the 20th and then the 27th will be the date that Apple releases the RC version. In that case, the release of iOS 26.1 to the public will happen on November the 3rd. That should be the date that you get this update to your device. Again, if Apple doesn't release another beta, but they go straight to the RC from beta 3, then the 20th will be the RC release, and then the 27th of October should be the date that Apple actually releases iOS 26.1 to the public. And now let's talk about the size of the update and why is this important is because you need to have quite a lot of free storage on your device to update to iOS 26.1. Now this has been different on different devices. I've seen different reports, different screenshots. Some people are getting in this case, you can see right here, the beta three. Some people are, all, are getting it at two or three gigs in my device right here, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it came in at 12.47 gigabytes. That's actually really, really huge. So this might depend on devices and also depending on which software you have currently installed on your device, but it tends to be quite big. And as you probably know, with iOS 26, since earlier on the, on the first betas, every actual update has been quite big in size and it will require you quite a lot of free storage. So the size again, it will be quite big. In my opinion, you should have at least 20 gigabytes of free storage on your device before you try to update to the new iOS 26.1. Another thing that you need to know is that there will be two different updating processes. Of course, based on which software you have currently on your device. Now, if you're on iOS 26 or 26.0.1, then it will be, of course, very simple. All you have to do is head on to your settings, go under the general settings right here, go to the software update section, and you're good to go. You will get the update right here, and you can just go ahead and update your device. But if not, if you're on any of the betas, then things will be different. So if you're currently on beta 3 and then Apple releases the RC, you can just go ahead and update right here to the RC, meaning that you already have the public release of iOS 26.1 because the RC that gets released to the devs and the, to the public testers is the exact same update that will also be released to the public. So if you just do that, then you're good to go. Once this goes out to the public, you won't get an update because you already have updated to the RC and that's the exact, exact same update. So you no longer need to install the public update on your device and it won't even appear here at all. But if you're on, currently on beta three and maybe in beta four, if they do release it, then you will have another option. If you just don't want to update to the RC, you just want to update to the public release. A lot of people want to do that, even though it's basically nothing different but if you just want to do that then right now without the rc being released or without installing the rc on your device head on to the software update section right here go to the beta updates and just turn them off that way you don't get the rc on your device but again you will get the public release once it's out and then you can just go ahead and update directly from here now another thing you need to know is the battery life now the battery life has been okay 
on iOS 26.1. Of course, it's still on betas, but it's okay in my opinion with this like device right here having the battery health at 88%. This is what we're getting here with the battery usage. You can see nine hours right there and 13 minutes with 139% battery usage, eight hours right here with 119, seven hours and 33 minutes with 115. It's actually not that bad. So you can see right here, 67% battery usage, four hours, 14 minutes. It's not that bad. I'd say that it's maybe two to 3% better than I was 26 with this latest beta. So it's okay. No need to worry about anything like battery draining or things like that when you update to this software. Now, one of the best things about iOS 26.1 will be its performance. iOS 26.1 is great when it comes to performance. Everything is super smooth. Everything is very fast. And you can see right here, the Geekbench score 3006 on the single core score. That's the best score I got on the single core score with this device on any other iOS software, software version. So it's actually really great. And also the multi-core score is great as well with multi-core score being at 7,678. Again, a great, great result for iOS 26.1 beta three. Now, as far as new features, there are a ton of them on iOS 26.1. First of all, on the home screen right here, we have now the glass effect right on the dock. It looks amazing. We have a few changes right here on the photos app. So if we go right here, you can see the menu is now different. You will have the share favorite and the lead buttons right here at the top. You will have a new way to scrub between the, between the videos. It's, it's actually really cool. And also finally on Apple Music, you can skip like swipe to skip on the title of a song. That's really amazing. We also have some other additions right here to iOS 26.1. Now one that I really like is right here. If we go to display and size, we can now actually enable show border, which will show a border right there on the UI elements that are with the liquid glass design. So if I go to the calculator right here, you can see everything is bordered. This will make it very easy for a lot of people to actually just notice better all the elements on their devices. It's actually really cool and it applies to the dock here as well. You can see it's actually really, really amazing. A lot of people will find it very useful. So we have a lot of different changes as well so new like the glass designs we have that on the phone app right here on the phone app we have it on the pop-up that you get on your lock screen when trying to customize your clock and another other ton of features like more languages for live translations more languages for apple intelligence so it's actually packed with new features and changes now the last thing you need to know in this video is what's next for ios 26 well, as I said, in just a few days, we're expecting iOS 26.1 to be released to the public. In the meantime, we will get iOS 26.0.2 that is actually being tested by Apple. It's now confirmed it should be released this week. And then, of course, once this update, once iOS 26.1 is out, which will be either the 27th or, in my opinion, most likely the 3rd of November, then in a matter of days, we will also get the first beta of iOS 26.2 because that has also to go through a few beta stages and it will be released before the holidays in December. So this is the timeline of the new releases from Apple, how I expect things to roll out and be released to the public. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.